everyone tells me, Hermes, you drink a massive amount of caffeine every goddamn day. Every freaking video, you have a shaker cup with caffeine in it. G Fuel, sponsor me, please. Yo, what is going on? My husband doesn't my foods. My name is Hermzar, and welcome to another live reaction of Radiant. I'm kind of worried about this. Because I was looking at the reviews, like the overall reviews for Radiant, and only got like two and a half stars um, or three stars or something. That's kind of worrisome. Um, I didn't decide to read ahead. I was debating whether if I should read the manga and just see what it's about. But I wanted to—I I, I legit wanted my reaction to be genuine when I when I read this, uh, or when I watch this. So we're gonna hop into it. If you guys are excited, make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like for me because that helps me a lot. If you guys are wondering why the live reaction is dimmed down, it's because of the copyright claims that I have been receiving lately from um. TV Tokyo and from Toho Animations. If you guys want to see the explanation of that, I have it in the Sword Art Online one. Um, I gave like a long-winded explanation for like three minutes. Why we don't have the live reaction on full set? So, anyways, let's hop into it. Yo, when, when I first see that, to be honest, like when I first see the horns pop up, I always think like it's a fucking dinosaur. I forgot Triceratops, but it's not a Triceratops. It's a our boy. Oh, also. Someone mentioned to me in the comment that Tommy is not in the manga. <laughs> Instead of saying partners, he said potters. That's hilarious. Though, um, I don't know. I don't know if it's me. Um, I, I'm not really. Don't don't spoil it for me, guys. Okay. But I feel like they're frauding. I hella feel like they're about to fraud the the village. But then again, the village deserves it because the villages are fucking assholes. Wow! See, I fucking hate vil. Then don't save them from the fucking, the fucking nemesis. Now let the nemesis free. He seems really nice, though. I ain't gonna lie. Like, even though I have the sense of fraudery, he seems kind of like a nice guy. Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay. I I feel something very fishy about this right now. All right, now we're about to finally see like a good fight with Seth. I wonder if he's actually going to use his power now. I want to see that actually. Oh shit! Let's go. It's gonna bounce off of his stomach. Damn, the powers of being fat. I should know. <laughs> what the fuck, yo? Real shit. If I saw something, if something was chasing me, and I saw that it was that close to me, even if it was like a human being, I'd be fucking scared. Wait, I just thought of something. Why doesn't he use this Titan Punch on the head? Oh, it's it's fluffy too. <laughs> that looks so weird. He's actually using his Titan Punch attacks. He's fat. You can't hit it from the butt. Yo, I'm legit yelling, and I wonder if my neighbors are like fucking. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on? See, I called it! I fucking called it! Wow. Hey, did you guys notice every single thing that I've been talking about, like, since first episode? It's almost been predicted. What the fuck? That thing is so heavy, yo. Oh, he captured it! He's gonna break through it. Whoa! What the fuck? Holy shit. Just seeing that already makes me feel like even though this looks all bright and colorful, like there there might be something darker about about the series in general. <laughs> this guy this guy in the corner is still my favorite. GG. Wow! Oh my god! Are they really doing this? Is the villagers really that stupid? This can't... Oh my god, this can't be real. Wow, oh my god. I would... I would honestly hate to have my spirit broken like that. You know what? You know what? My man got a point. <laughs> That is fucking crazy. Oh, shit. Oh, God. See, if I was put into this situation, like I was saying earlier, man, fucking villagers should be fucking taken down and shit. Oh, shit. It looked like he about to kiss. What is this? Yaoi? Damn, so much Yaoi this season. 
to be honest, I'm kind of just like, in a sense, agreeing. It's hard. Oh, shit! He punched him in the face! No, 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 not GG! Not GG! <gasps> oh, shit! Is it me or is it GGOP? God, this is kind of scary. At the same time, it looks great. It's like very bubbly in terms of the design. It's like so bright and vibrant. Yeah, it's like some Attack on Titan shit, but I don't think it's gonna go that deep. But the way the villagers are treating Seth, I get it. Oh! 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 Yaoi? It's, it's so weird because I get, I get what he was saying, man. Alma. Oh no! It's Seth! Oh shit! Seth is doing it! All right, guys. So, this episode, it, it, it was interesting, I should say. I also enjoyed that I kind of have this sense of things being pretty dark in some senses. I feel like there is a darker meaning with everything. Everything that the Bravery Quartet boss man was saying, he was like 100% hitting the nail on the fucking center of the head. He was on point with, why do you want to save these people when they treat you like shit? Why do you want to be around these people? Why do you want to work for them when all they do is treat you like it's always your fault? You're always going to be put for the blame. And you know what? We've been seeing that since episode one and that's what i've been saying like yo these people deserve to be eaten or whatever like attack on titan and shit he was hitting the goddamn nail on the fucking head my boys legit had to like stop and just be like you know what he's right why would you want to help these people who treat you like shit and now we can we can always relate it to like some like deep religious shit where you're just like you know what treat others how you want to be treated but what if and here was the counter argument that i heard is like what if people treat you like shit when you're treating them nice do you treat them like shit as well or or do you continue to treat them nice in the hopes that they will treat you nice back. And I have a feeling even though Seth has stopped this beam from attacking the people, I feel like he's still gonna get shit for it. I still feel like people are gonna put him down and etc. What I felt was, what I felt really bad for Seth because the Bravery Quartet was saying to him that we believe in him, this and that, they're like gassing him up. And then to the end, to only let him down and to make him feel like shit, like he's absolutely nothing. And I feel like that's worse than getting physically beat up because getting emotionally beat up is like fucking horrible, my dude. But it also shows like the simple mindedness of the villagers. These villagers, they make regular hum humans, 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 they make regular humans look stupid. Let's be honest. I hate the villagers so much to the point where I'm like, boss man is right. Just fucking let him, let him go. But his best friend Tommy's there and he's talking to Tommy in particular, like Tommy, I'm not going to leave you. That's some yaoi shit, my boy. But Seth wants to be a hero. He's like, do not put me in the same category as you. We are not two birds of the same flock. Fuck that shit. So I have a lot of respect for, so I have a lot of respect for Seth because Seth is out here doing the most. He's doing the work. Even though so many people are putting him down, he's going to help these people that put him down. My prediction though is that they're going to still treat him like shit after he does this, but it's still unfortunate. Like, honestly, these villagers are stupid. Now, in terms of... <laughs> This is really hard for me to say because the pacing of this, it, it makes sense. I, I feel like the cliffhanger of this episode was really slow. Like, I, I felt like I believe it's going to end the next episode, but I kind of hate how it's being paced. I feel like they could have made this into one full length episode like they did with SAO where they made it like 47 minutes. I kind of feel like this is kind of like dragging along just this fight with the nemesis that they're fighting right now and i feel like this nemesis is legit just the tip of the iceberg this is like one of the weaker ones i feel like it could be moved a little bit faster i don't know i don't know maybe like there's so much more depth we did get a lot of depth in this episode in terms of like we were starting to see like yo this shit is actually a lot dark everything that boss man was saying of how villagers treated sorcerers and stuff it's so much deeper than we think it is and i kind of appreciate that well at the same time i feel like 24 minutes is not enough and it's hard to continuous i mean i guess the way they left the cliffhanger keeps me engaged in a sense that i want to continuously see what happens afterwards but i have to wait next week so i feel like this is more appropriate to binge watch but i, I, I i'm very curious so i want to watch it right now and i feel like we could have at least got to the part where alma shows up if she does show up at all because now we're just left like what happens to seth what happens to the villagers but seth looks like he's holding his own he could be able he's able to stop that shit but i will say like the most 
the the highlight of this episode was definitely boss man spitting some facts to seth because seth was always that i'm gonna prove to the villagers that i'm going to do the best and i'm, I'm going to like protect them and i'm gonna do this and that but the villagers are not accepting him and seth did realize that the villagers are fucking dumb but then boss man put it into perspective like yo these people are fucking dumb dude like they're not worth saving, let's be real. This this was like in a situation of Project Octopath or Octopath Travel that we played with the Apothecary route. Oh my lord. Other than that, my favorite character is Gigi for sure. Gigi is like the best boy. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that is my reaction and review of Radiant. I just, you know, put it together this time just because of time's sake. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like for me because that would help me a lot. Subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.